Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So currently copper prices are nice and high which is great and that means people are out trying to find that valuable metal. This video was actually inspired by one of my subscribers and supporters and they commented the other day saying that someone across the street moved out, they left their vacuum cleaner and their carpet cleaner and other appliances and stuff and someone drove by and just cut the cords and took those, which is a great find, but they left everything else. A lot of times while I'm, when I'm scrapping is I will see that same pattern whereby people will just take the quick buck, they will leave everything else, and though they might either not know or forget that there are other goodies inside the um, appliance or electronic as well as more copper. So what I want to do today is I want to go through a couple different appliances that I find commonly on scrapping and go over some of the commonly missed places to find the copper. Okay, so here we go. The first one I'm going to start with is the vacuum cleaner. As I said, a lot of times on garbage day you will see a vacuum cleaner. People will go by and just take the cord. Cords in Canada right now, there are two categories for insulated copper wire. There is 40% recovery and 60% recovery. This wire, because there are two coatings on it, would be 40% recovery. And currently in Canada right now, this wire would go for $1.23 a pound Canadian, which is great. Uh, with a little bit of work, you can actually strip this off and make it the higher grade. And I actually do have a recent video that I just uploaded that talks about how to maximize your copper wire. So if you're interested, go check that out. Okay, this is about a pound and a half. Again, it's a great score. Um, but the other thing is inside your vacuum cleaner, there is always a copper motor. Okay, so inside of here, you can just see inside there is a copper spool. That would be number two copper. Currently, Canada copper number two price is $3.50 a pound, which is awesome. There is actually some brass as well on here that's going for $1.85 a pound. There's some aluminum in here that's about 40 cents a pound, okay? And this people do, um, will leave, okay? And sometimes people will say, well, it's not worth it. I disagree because as you can see in this bag, this is all various number two motors and copper coming from various um, appliances. This is 16 pounds of number two copper right here. So it adds up, I just throw it in a bag. The other thing that comes out of this motor is this little copper bearing motor. The copper, as you can see in there, is very tightly entwined. I don't actually take this out. I leave this in and at the scrapyard, there is actually a category for copper bearing motors. So currently that right there is going for 15 cents a pound Canadian. Okay, this is a pound and a half, so that's nice as well. Okay, so there is a big motor. There is also another motor in the power head. Okay, so any bottom attachment that has the bristles that spin, I'm just gonna pull this. This is a Dyson I just found last week. Pull the top off. As you can see inside there, there is another copper bearing motor. This is almost a pound. Okay, it also has some clean brass on it. Uh, this one as well, I will leave as is because uh, I could pop the top off, but it's more difficult and um, I just save these up. They do add up, but uh, again, it's commonly overlooked and you find them in all vacuum cleaners. Okay, so the copper bearing motor on the uh, bottom attachment. And sometimes you will find the smaller ones, the small stair brushes, if they, they will also have a motor in there, it's smaller, but again, it adds up. Okay, so vacuum cleaners. The next one, I'm kind of, again, uh, picking on my dad. He, I'm looking at old TVs. Most old TVs, when you take the back plastic panel off, you will find the nice copper bell. Most people will take that, which is great. However, there is also around the glass tube, a square wire, okay? and. It's very recognizable because it will come in like it looks like a black tape around it. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hidden around the base, but it will be square. And these most of the time will also be copper. As you can see, I've already cut inside. That is a nice copper look. And if I was to bring this in as is, 
This would be your 60% copper recovery. So this would go for about $1.83 a pound Canadian, which is awesome. This is, uh, I think I weighed it almost a pound. But for a little bit of extra work, uh, I actually have a stripper. Uh, I can actually take this outer coating off and I can reveal a beautiful copper coil like this. Some of my viewers asked me last week if this was considered bare bright because of the color. And yes, it does look like bare bright, but the rule is if the wire strands are thinner than a pencil length, they will be considered number two copper, okay? So 350. If this was thicker than a pencil lead, it would be bare bright, which currently in Canada is $4.10 Canadian, which is amazing. But I'm not going to sniffle at 350. So there are two ways that I can uh, get this off. I can use an X-Acto knife and go all the way down with my vise, but because I have a stripper, I can use that as well. One little thing I do want you to caution yourself on is, before you actually take the time to strip it, you do want to cut the wire, and because here's why. You will see, here's two different examples. On the left, you see a really nice copper, so the inside of this is copper, but the other side, the other one, sorry, this is the better view, as you can see inside, it is metallic looking wire inside. So this is actually, this one is aluminum. And aluminum in Canada, this is not going to be worth my time for this. I would just throw it in my dirty aluminum as is. It's not gonna be worth my time uh, stripping it, taking it apart. Um, so this will stay as is in my dirty aluminum, okay? But the copper one, I definitely want to strip. And I actually right now have attached to my stripper uh, one that just to show you a quick uh, little example, just gonna throw it through. I'm gonna set it up very quickly. And if I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but hopefully I can show you. Okay, so very quick. And again, as you can see, there is the nice coating. Some places, because this is kind of flimsy, I'm gonna to have to open up again with an X-Acto knife, but you can see the really nice coil. And this, just looking as is, may not be your best test. The, what you're gonna to have to do to see if it's copper inside is actually file it, or as I did there, cut, the, um, cut it in half to look at the inside part, because sometimes it has a copper coating. But this is in fact copper and this weighs as is, this is almost a pound, okay? And they come in different thicknesses, depending on the TV, okay? Um, so the copper around the tube in the black tape on TVs, the old school. Other place that I find copper people overlook is compressors. On the side of the compressors, you will have a small box there inside there. That is a copper spool. Um, okay, so if you have compressors, I actually have a video on taking apart compressors, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. Very fast, easy, really, really nice copper bearing motor inside of those, so in my opinion, they're worth taking apart. But the small box beside it will usually sometimes come with a spool, but they will always come with a silver contact box, okay? Silver contact boxes, you will find them not only in compressors, you will also find them in circuit boards all over the place on circuit boards. And the nice thing about a silver contact box is this one especially has uh, copper prongs, but if I open it up, which I'm gonna do right now, all I'm gonna do is I just have to hit this with a hammer and break the plastic. I've already done it for this one, but I'm just gonna break it further. As you can see inside, there is a nice small spool of copper. It also has a couple silver contacts in there, and a silver contact, I love mentioning silver contacts, it's free silver. It will have little dots like that. Oh, and look, there's the rest of the copper from the prong, so that's great, that's copper too. But the silver will go into my silver contact box. Okay, but nice little spool of copper. And again, even though it is thin, it adds up. Okay, so little spools. Okay, so that is in compressors. Another one, microwaves. Microwaves, you will find the small fan that will look like this, which is great. But a lot of times people will leave the little pieces of copper on here. Okay, so very simple. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to take it off. This is just gonna go into my steel. 
Um, I am not going to take off this spool right now. Very simple to do though. I just put it in my vise and I will hit it off and it just folds off. But I want to focus on the little pieces that people neglect. All I'm going to do is just take cutters. Just going to cut one end. Show you there. Flip it up. Flip it up. And I'm just going to turn it. Flip it over here. And it's going to just fold as you can see. Fold it over. Okay. And I'm going to do both sides. But look at that. That is a nice little piece of copper. I could, you can, because it has a uh, dirty coating on it, this would still be number two. But again, it adds up, I throw it into a bag. And there are a couple small spots. That will just come out now when I pinch it, and there'll be another one here. So that will be two off of your microwave fan, okay? And the other thing sticking with microwaves is, on the bottom of your microwaves, there is always a small little motor. This motor, will turn the plate, okay? Most people are just after the big transformer and the fan motor, but this also has copper in it, okay? And these are very easy to take apart. Um, on the side there, this is a steel panel. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and pop it out, punch it and pop it out. So you're putting my vise. Okay, so this is off of a microwave. And a lot of times, especially now with microwaves being more, I think, cheaply made or easily made, uh, more cost effective, the transformers that you use to find are actually becoming replaced with aluminum. So this is another, this is a great place where they continue to keep it as copper. Okay, so this plate is gonna go into my steel. I have just re uh, revealed some gears. These I just pop out, throw them into my garbage. Okay, there'll be an additional plate there. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that off. Those prongs are copper. Sometimes you'll see them as brass. Okay, but even better, they're copper. And I also now just have to pop up this next frame. And all I'm gonna do, as you can see, I'm just actually pulling it up and revealing the copper. Okay, so I'm actually going to try just pulling it up. Uh, sometimes I will actually just put it into the vise again to pull up that panel. Okay, I'm actually just going to take it out, speed it up. Okay, don't want to forget, take these prongs out later, put them in my copper. And here it is. Here's my other copper wire. So more steel. There is my copper. Nice thing about this is all I have to do is pop the plastic off. Just gonna cut it off, very simple. Wear safety glasses because when you're dealing with small things like that, I see a lot of people not wearing safety glasses and potential of getting yourself in the eye with some plastic is not worth <laughs> the little bit of copper um, while scrapping, okay? Your eyesight is worth a lot more than that, in my opinion. Okay, so there is the nice spool of copper. I'm just gonna pull it off. There it is, okay? So a nice spool, very finely finely wired. It's just like very silky, smooth, thin. But again, I throw that into my number two bag and it adds up, okay? So that is the small motors that you are going to find on the bottom of your microwave. Okay, another one, little motors that you will find on dishwashers. People will get the big motor, but they will forget the little motor like this, this is beautiful because it has two nice spools of copper. Very simple, I just pop this off. There you go. Same idea that I did with this copper. I would just take a pair of pliers, cut off the plastic and that copper is going to just slide out. Okay, so two nice spools of copper right there. And this as well, as I said, is on dishwashers, okay? Another one is, uh, I think a lot of times I find on circuit boards, I actually do have a video on taking copper off on circuit boards, the stuff that is visual, but there is stuff also that is kind of hidden, okay? You will find sometimes on circuit boards, you know, spools that have the plastic wrap around them. Here's another smaller one, okay? Here's one that very, very hard to see, but you can see on the bottom, there's a couple copper prongs and I've kind of opened it up for you just to reveal the copper. 
Okay, so some nice copper there. Um, and the other thing is, if I look at this circuit board here, it looks pretty basic. The aluminum heat sinks, this is a place that is commonly overlooked. So this aluminum heat sink, this is pure aluminum going for 40 cents a pound Canadian. They come in all sizes. I actually do have a video on taking apart aluminum from aluminum uh, circuit boards for aluminum heat sinks. It's definitely worth taking them and putting them into your clean aluminum because it adds up quick. But the attachment you see there, there's always going to be a screw that bolts it in. And I'm just going to take my screwdriver right now and I'm just going to take it out. Okay, so my other video just focused on the heat sink. This one is a little bit different, okay? I want to make sure before I put this into my clean aluminum, I want to get these screws out because if I don't, then it's going to be dirty. But I want to focus on this prong now, okay? These prongs, if I cut this off, okay, I'm just going to cut it. Sometimes you just pull it, and usually I do, okay? Here's another circuit board that you see there. Okay, they have the prongs on it as well, okay, which is nice. But what's interesting about these is that you can actually, um, if I take my file, take the file, where's my file? Here it is. I'm just going to actually just put a file to this because it looks metallic, but watch. You can see right up the top there, that is copper. So this has, has, just has like a coating on it. So these are all copper. And even though it has plastic on it, this would go into my number two um, because number two copper is copper that has soldering on it. It has uh, glue on it or oil. Um, so you could put this into your number two. I've actually started a collection actually just taking these and putting them into a separate bin because I have a whole bunch of them, uh, which is awesome. So that is definitely an option. I'm just trying to find another circuit board that you can also, so this has a lot of copper on it, which is awesome. Every one of these prongs, so I actually just have a nice handful of them. So there you can see. Sometimes, actually, the circuit board does have the, um, doesn't even have the metallic coating on them. They just look like copper, so they're very easy to identify. But, you know, they come in different sizes. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna take this one, this is a different one, and I'm gonna scratch this one, just to show you that I'm not making this up. Okay, there you go, again. I did it on both sides there, okay. Actually, I think I just did this one. Oh, there you go, so. Scratch the side, look at that, nice copper. Okay, so there's one, I'll do this one instead, here's another one. There you go, there's the copper. So again, commonly, commonly overlooked, and these add up, okay? So just put them into a bin. Um, the last thing I wanna say is, on your in your microwaves, again, going back to microwaves, is your magnetron, okay? Your magnetron has the nice thick magnets, uh, it's got some aluminum, but, the top, and I've already taken the top off, the top actually has a panel on it. If you open that up, inside is a couple small coils of copper. Not much, but again, it adds up, okay? So that is another place that is overlooked, okay? Um, so again, thank you very much for that, uh, that story, uh, Blooming in Place. Uh, continue to appreciate all of your support. Um, any other questions or comments, please keep them coming. Please comment down below if uh, there's something that you wanna see or uh, maybe if you have a question to just about this stuff, glad to answer that. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.